elastic go. The bolt effect worked, Dave. Way. Little size 14 barbless hook and a little little baby carp fishing super light in what six inches of water. Look at the red on his tail, Dave. That's so beautiful. Does that probably disturb the swim for a bit? Yeah, we cut it ahead both of you. That worked, Dave. Okay. <laughs> Cameraman's moving around making noise. Honestly, I don't think any of this would have worked if I didn't have Dave here helping out. Um, success. Uh, just a short after work session. You know, I'm still sweaty and filthy from work, but I had to get out. And I really wanted to target some of the smaller fish using some of the match tactics and the match equipment that I've been buying. Um, today I'm using the 9.5 meter Daiwa Triforce pole. And that was the first fish on it. Uh, I've got a number 11 uh, Preston Duraslip Elastic uh, rigged up in the top kit. I've got a very tiny uh, 4x14 MIDI float. This one was uh, given to me by Justin from the Match Club. And it's four pound test down to just a bulk of five really tiny shot. I'm still new to this stuff. I couldn't even tell you what size the shot are. And then a little size 14 barbless hook with a single grain of corn. And you can see here, the, the shot are basically touching the bottom. So I'm really only fishing about six and a half, seven inches down. It's really shallow. Last time we fished here, it was like four feet deep. The water was way up and I was, I was kind of expecting that, and uh, I'm wrong. It's super shallow. So, you know, I, I put some free offerings of corn out. The other thing I'm doing is I have this little uh, Preston Cad Pot just down onto the, onto the pole here, and I've got this little mix. This is some ground up hemp seed. Um, ground up hemp seed and then I've mixed into it the 7 mil um, DT bait super fruit pellets and I let them soak in the hemp oil all day while I was at work it sat in the hot van soaking in all the hemp juices and hemp oil and then when I got here the slurry that it made I've mixed with the tiger nut and corn ground bait to stodge it up and make these little balls and I just drop that in the cad pot and I have to ship it out very level not to drop it and then I drop that right where I'm putting my rig and uh, yeah we've been at it for about a half an hour but that was only like the fourth drop of one of these little bait balls uh, in amongst the loose feed and it worked 
and we, we've had a few fish down in the margin kind of shoot out. There's lots of like little bait fish of some sort out there. But uh, I'm really excited that, you know, the plan came together, the, the idea worked. We're gonna try and get another one doing the same thing. See if we can make it, uh, if I didn't spook the swim too much. And then after that, I don't know, maybe we'll try, oh, I just dropped my bait ball. <laughs> maybe we'll try something else, we'll see. I just, I wanna get another fish before it's dark. And the whole point was just to come out and get a couple of bites using this tech te technique, tactic, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, you know, enjoy and appreciate the smaller fish. doesn't always have to be going about going after the big ones. Uh, because, really, honestly, I think it's way harder to catch small ones. It seems like everything's dialed in pretty good right now. my best to learn this to do it right. I like really got to any point where I feel like I've got a knack for it. But it's so much fun. Here's fish. Oh, 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 what do we got? Oh! That was a bigger fish. That was a much bigger fish, Dave. Oh! Well, did we get the hook back? We got the hook back. Oh, no. Look at that. What a disaster. That was a good fish. I, I, I think I actually feel better that you got that Part of me was like... Where's, where's uh, Toronto James when you need him? Right. He would definitely have this, this untangled by now. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to get this out, but it's going to be a few minutes. All right, so after that amazing failure, um, I got most of the rig untangled, but not enough of it, and we're about to lose the light. My leg's asleep, <laughs> but that was a much better fish. Um, Unfortunately, we lost it, but that was really cool. It was a lot of fun. The fish should still be here. So I've actually just uh, taken out another rig and put together another rig. I'm um, hoping for the best that I've got it right. So it's a slightly different rig. And uh, hopefully I set the depth correctly, but we're going to try it. Just get one more fish in here. much bigger float than I had on. I'm hoping I've got the depth set correctly. 
even though it's a bigger float, same rig, bulk shot, size 14, barbless hook. I may need to move the float up a bit. There's a fish on. Is that a catfish? <laughs> Damn, there's a cat. I don't. I guess I don't need to move my float. There's a catfish on. Swing it up to me. Come here. Stop it. Well, I actually do enjoy catfish. Does he have a hole in the bottom of his... He's, got, he's been bit probably from one of the herons over there. Oh. Little bullhead. I thought he had a hole in the bottom of his chin. Let's just see. There's got to be another carp in there. We've got to be able to get one more. See that the catfish don't pull the elastic as much. They're not as strong. But still fun. This is a solid fish. This whole style of fishing is just so different from what I'm used to. And I love doing new things. I love upgrading my skill set to just have more and more options of what I can try and what I can do in the different waters that I, I have available to me. Bloop. Well, now we know there's catfish here. Oh, this is the biggest one of the day that we've landed. <laughs> biggest one of the day, 11 ounces. I knew it was going to be quick. There's some bigger ones in there. Oh yeah, better. Need a better net. Hashtag not a mirror. <laughs> Hooks come out in the net. What was that? Is that you making that noise? No, I don't think so. What was the fish? The fish squeaked. Look at that. What a beauty. Look at that. Not as much red as the others. So that means that one I lost was definitely like probably could be as many as much as like three or four pounds. Because that thing had was all strength. I like I had no control, it was going. Okay, let's get this one back. You see my my trusty red wagon in the background. What do you think? 
Time for one more, Dave? Feels like it. We have time for one more? We're still out there. The man on the moon says we got more time. <coughs> yeah, well, my old eyeballs are saying that it's getting dark and I can't see anything. <laughs> As I was lifting it, I started lifting it to move it out, and I got a bite. Another little carp. I'm not good at this yet. I can't see because of the grass. <laughs> I have time for five more. This is so not like the most practical spot to do this. smaller than the first one. Oh, that was awesome. So I, was, I saw that there was activity there and I was just starting to lift it. Just so I could move it back to where I saw all the bubblers. And just as I lifted it, I felt the thud, and it just jolted down. It was on. So they're definitely in there feeding competitively. Come on, fish. Right there. There's fish. Oh yeah! Look at that elastic, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, that sounded big. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A little beauty. Works there. Well, here's Dave, right there. Camera Dave. Definitely this would not have worked without him tonight. The cameras think there's a lot more light than there is. It's actually really dark. Um, that fish, the uh, when it thrashed in the net, the little two pound hook link broke. So I could retie it and put it out again, but uh, we still got a long walk back to the van. So I think we're gonna pack it in. Um, Quick after work session, nine and a half meter pole, it's number 11 elastic, size 14 hooks, and six inches of water. We had a bunch of little carp, catfish, definitely lost something of good size. That was the excitement I needed. That was a lot of fun. It's, you know, a new tactic, new, 
new style of fishing that I'm trying to learn and trying to adapt to and I'm really really enjoying it and like I said it's not always about the big fish I love catching the biggins but this is a whole new challenge and it's so much fun going after these little ones give it a shot what do you think Dave people should just give it a shot we have 300 kernels of corn left we can keep going <laughs> okay all right thanks for watching The way the water's rippling, it makes me feel like the float's like dancing. Well, it, it actually is. We definitely had some good blocks there. Yeah, there's something blocking on it right now. There, 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 there. Keep attention, nice and easy. Okay, you want to direct them away from that tag? Try and steer them that a little bit better. You got a good fish on there. Dave's got his first pole carp. So you can start to ease up a bit so you can start to ship back and you want to get it on the roller. Okay, try and get that on the roller. <laughs> Camera's probably picking up nothing. <laughs> Keep going back gently as long as you can. A little more than a mat here. Uh, Risk this on your knee. Night fishing, <laughs> night pole fishing. We'll have to get the uh, glow sticks out. <laughs> yeah. We'll probably do it, eh? I think we could if we got small enough glow sticks. Yeah, we could get the little uh, 